Hi everyone, so here I have a redesign I did on my client using the new Nailtech Network Collection glitters and these are launching on Monday, the 2nd of October. So here I have used um, Razzle Dazzle and Paradise Falls. I will put the correct names in <laughs> the description. So I have removed my lady's previous set, got down to a thin clear base, done all my natural nail work, prepped and primed them out, and then I'm coming in with a thin clear base of CJP Crystal Glass. Don't worry about some of the red and some of the marks, that's just from the previous coloured acrylic. And then I'm coming in with CJP colour in, this is Mermaid which is a lovely, bright, bold blue colour. And I'm just patting, tapping, doing a full colour now with this, so making sure I'm covering that entire nail. A little bit on the end there just to make sure the colour's nice and even and I've got a decent coverage. Now this is a strength powder so you don't have to cap this if you don't want to. And then on the next now I'm coming in with CJP Cherry Blossom. It's a lovely cover pink with it's kind of a beige with a very slight pinky tone to it. It's one of my favourites. And then I'm just blending that down the nail. Then getting a bead of clear acrylic and tapping it into that razzle dazzle glitter. Placing that on the tip and then blending up the nail. Just going back to that pinky finger and capping. Some of you may have noticed sometimes I wait to the end and cap them all, other times I go back and forth and cap. It's however I feel like on the day. Come back and then capping that ring finger. Making sure that glitter goes nice and matte so that I know it's been encapsulated. And then coming on to the next finger. Starting with that mermaid colour at the tip and blending up. And then coming in with that cherry blossom at the cuticle area and blending down. So creating that nice ombre. And 
and then just using my wet brush to pick up some of that Paradise Falls glitter and tap into that wet acrylic. and then capping that entire nail in crystal glass. And then we're coming on to this uh, pointer finger. Had a little accident, so she needed a new nail on here. So, filed off that previous, the little bit that was remaining on the tip. Applied that form, and then I'm just going to create a very, very, very thin, clear base near that free edge, just so I've got a nice, smooth transition from nail to extension and then popping a little bit of clear on the rest of the nail and then coming in with that brazzle dazzle glitter so this has got um, a lot of tinsel in it so you want to work in quite small beads Pick it up, place it on the nail and, and kind of like nudge it into place. You don't want to get too big a bead at a time because sometimes it can be quite difficult to put into place then. and then capping the entire nail in crystal glass. And when they're all cured and set, I'm going to come in and do my usual filing technique. So it's side wall, side wall, free edge. As you see, I'm kind of getting underneath the nail a bit there. Again, as my nails ladies grow a bit longer, they become a bit more of an overlay. So I want to correct any imbalance in how the nail is growing. So I always file kind of underneath, making sure it's keeping in a straight line coming out from the nail. So it's not hooking down. making sure to work the nail as a whole, having a look from all angles, never working it on one place for too long. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm gonna dust off all these nails and then I'm going to apply my CJP LED top gloss, which I forgot to film. But there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Any questions, comments or requests, leave them below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.